So we have reached the, that we are talking about the difference between AC motor and DC motor. And so we carry on in that. So let me just uh, share the screen. And so we have been talking about DC motors and we talked about that uh, they use, sometimes they use magnetic fields, which can be permanent magnets, but more likely electromagnets, which allow better to control of speed and force. It has excellent low speed characteristics and heat management is important. AC motors are asynchronous and some, or sometimes called uh, uh, induction motors. There is no direct connection between the casting and the armature and the armature is current is induced by the stator field. So this is the stator field through the magnetic field, the current happens to the armature. So this is the difference between DC motors and AC motors. And if we look at this in more detail, so a nature of input current, this is AC, this is DC. Commutation process, there is absent in AC motors, there is no direct connection present in DC motor. Supply phase, both single phase and three phase can be supplied. Only single phase supply is used. A number of terminals, there are three inputs, red, yellow, and blue. There are two inputs, positive and negative. So now we understand the basic concepts of uh, electrical circuits, uh, we basic concepts of power electronics, and now we are looking at the difference between AC motors and DC motors. Now we'll be talking about traction motor control. There are three main ways to control traction motors, either through resistance control, and this is a very old method, Chober control or pulse width modulation. And resistance control is the oldest, and it's only suitable for DC motors. Chobar control uses power electronics to control DC motors, and pulse width modulation uses power electronics to control AC motors. And this is what a pulse width, width modulation is. In summary, you have understood basic concepts in electrical engineering, basic concepts in electrical circuits. You looked at uh, power electronics and some of the semiconductors.